Amy. Why, thank you. The pleasure's all mine. Oh, yeah, I guess I have been kind of spacing out. Well, it's just that I'm new in town and I'm trying to join a sorority. They got me doing a scavenger hunt as an initiation. It's due tomorrow and I don't have a lot of the items still. I'm thinking about maybe leaving the party and seeing if I can finish it up. A lot of the items on the list are kind of, well, embarrassing to say the least. And I don't know too many people here that well. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Maybe I'll stick around for a bit and see what we can get accomplished. Thank you. Hey, is it hot in here to you? Hey, buddy. Glad you could make it. Just a fair bit of warning. My friends are a little, should I say, eccentric? They're cool, though. Make yourself at home and introduce yourself around. Thanks for coming, buddy. I'm really glad you came. It's been a rough week. I was looking forward to hanging with you. Amy's the best. I had a few classes with her last semester. She's obsessed with that band Panic at the Disco. She freaks out anytime anybody even mentions them. Ah, uh, it's not worth getting into right now. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves. How's it going, dude? Wait, you're not drunk, are you? Good. I'm straight edge. I can't stand assholes who get drunk at parties. I feel it's like my civic duty to beat the ever-loving shit out of anybody I see with a drink. My contribution helps make this world better. Hello again. God, I love them! I saw them in concert last week, and it was even better than when I saw them the week before! Are you a fan? Well, hey, to each their own, right? As long as you don't hate them or anything, we can still be friends. Let's see... The first item I don't have is... Oh gosh. Somebody's expired credit card. And it can't be mine. See why I can't ask these people I just met? Things get much worse going forward, too. Patrick, you just can't say that shit. We're more than just... that. Fuck, man! The... huh? I meant the whole truth about my site and how it can liberate. Aw, oh, man brought not that women are holes. I mean, they have them. Now, this is getting good. Hey, yo, back up! Whew. Almost had to go Shaolin Temple style on the motherfucker. You should never approach a stranger from behind like that. Sensei Frank's lesson number one. Oh, anyway, I'm Leah. Sensei Frank, you know the big bald guy who sits downstairs holding down the fort? The guy who whistles show tunes when nobody's around? Oh, alright then. Well, speaking of, I gotta hit up Frank real quick. He's got me on patrol, and I gotta go report to him on 5 minute increments. Thing is, I left my phone at the gym so I've been counting in my head. 
It's been exactly five minutes, or like a lot longer than that. Some booze in me? There's oh, 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 Ra! You finally arrived! I've been waiting since. Wait, you're not that guy I met at the bus stop? Sorry, I'm seeing double. You're a new bra. What's up? I'm Patrick, aka Party Pat, aka Pat the Frat, aka Patty Mayonnaise. Yeah, that was something else. That Rachel, she's a firecracker. <laughs> it was cool how she did that where people could see. I'm a broadvocate for transparency. One of these days, long after we've settled our differences, her and I will look back on this night and laugh. <laughs> hmm, I should probably talk to somebody about it. Mom always said, take advice when it's given. That and just because he lives here doesn't mean he's your father. Ah, Rachel's Krav Bra training has really paid off because this pain is unreal. Before I go saying anything, I gotta find something to make this pain go away. My bra coming through in the clutch. If you see some pain meds rolling around somewhere, grab them for me. Any will do, probably. It's just science. Anything that comes in pill form will automatically make you feel better with no other consequences whatsoever. I'll uh, hold on to this wine so I'll have something to wash it down with. Hey, I'm Stephanie. Like, what's up? Nice to meet you too. <laughs> OMG, I like love this song. This party's okay, but I really wish I could do some whippets. on with it. If you like my dance moves now, you haven't seen anything yet. A whippet is the after process of inhaling nitrous oxide from small compressed canisters or compressed cans of whipped cream to obtain a momentary high. I get like totally serious when it comes to drugs. He like creeps me out. He's always so drunk and he always stares at my tits when I'm dancing. <laughs> Patrick, I can't get to the fucking booze with Frank. Oh, sorry. I thought you were my cousin. You're Derek's friend, right? Hey, I'm Madison. This is, uh, my party. Oh yeah, don't mention it. Derek was all, Hey, I have this friend who doesn't know anybody because he just moved here and I promise he's not a dick. And Derek and I are kind of in the middle of this... Doesn't matter. And I didn't want to make things weirder, so I was like, Sure, bring your friend. So yeah, glad you could come. I'm sorry, that was rude. My head is everywhere. You know that feeling when you love hosting parties until you're actually in the middle of hosting one? Then you remember people are the worst, and your cousin has a serious alcohol problem, and that you definitely should have brought more food. That's a cool thing to say, even if you are just trying to win brownie points. That's always been such a weird phrase to me, brownie points. What the hell are those anyway? Me? Oh god no. Is that where the name comes from? Where Ashley and I grew up back in Nevada, the idea of empowering women at such a young age scared our town elders. Since donning those little green vests and teaching us how to tie knots was surely going to make us more rebellious and probably less willing to never leave the house. But look at me now. I can't tie a single knot, but god damn it do I know how to throw a party. Anyway, it was good talking to you. And meeting you. 
I gotta get back to the party, but come find me later, and we can get to know each other some more. Maybe take some pics for my gram? Oh, and don't forget to mingle. There are some awesome people here. Did you need something? Okay, that was actually slightly philosophical. You might actually have a brain hiding in there somewhere. Yeah, it's my boyfriend. He's supposed to meet me here, but he's being a dick. That's actually kind of sweet. I wish he felt the same way. Ugh, I can't fucking stand her. She's so fucking stupid. But hey, look on the bright side. Since she's more on par with your intelligence level, you have a better chance of scoring with her tonight than me. Alright, I admit. It's a little more complicated than my boyfriend just being a dick. He's really, really into biking everywhere as a couple. And before you ask, no, not Harleys and hotties on highways. More like Schwinn's in sweaty crotches on sidewalks. Look, I'll be the first to say it. I don't think I should be covered in sweat just so our planet can prolong its inevitable demise by a few measly minutes. If my projections are correct, we'll be colonizing Mars by 2041 anyway. And on Mars, I won't have to call anybody my spandex daddy. Oh yeah, he wears one of those stupid, stretchy, full-body speed suits anytime we hit the road. He's just praying that someone asks him about it so he can drawl on about his bike. As we were getting geared up tonight, I just couldn't deal just the way the spandex morphed around his ass crack. Blah! We got in a huge fight. I put on normal people clothes and I took a ride share over here. Well, the fight wasn't the worst part. This is a two-part bummer. But yeah, thanks. Ugh, how about this? If you can get me something to drink, I'd be glad to share more. There's some good in there too. Very Hey, uh, I'm Rachel. Sorry if you just saw me swat that guy. I promise you, I'm not a giant bitch. I just, uh, I can't even get into it. Have you not heard anything about Patrick before tonight? No? Do you know the website Neighborhood Watch? Guess I'll just have to take your word on that. Just... Stay away from that chemical burn of a person over there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to figure out how I can get my alcohol back from a different guy who, <laughs> funny story, decided to confiscate all the alcohol from a party. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Did you check the fridge? That's the most obvious place it would be to me. The only booze I know of is with Frank. Maybe you should talk to him and see if you can work something out. W what? You must be out of your mind, man. Me and Madison, we're just friends. Just friends. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Steph is pretty out there. I don't mean that in a bad way, but dude, she's got a taste for whatever gets her fucked up quick. Still, she's real smart about certain things, man. Like, real smart. I'm just worried she's burning brain cells faster than she knows. Yeah, no problem. Just don't tell her we talked. I'm having some family troubles lately, and I think she's wanting to know more about it. Uh, 
How's it going, brah? Any luck finding painkillers? Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm Madison's sister. Nice to meet you. Well, I doubt Madison would ever call me that, but I do live here too, so call it what you want. You're sweet. I'm here if you have any questions about the crowd, including yours truly. As co-host of this evening, I'd be super bummed if you felt left out or whatever. Ugh, please don't compare me to her. We're not exactly getting along at the moment. Ever since I was young, she's always been pulling pranks on me and embarrassing me. She just loves humiliating me especially in front of her friends. One time she stole all of my clothes and towels while I was in the bathroom and I had to run out naked while we had a bunch of company over. It was awful. I wish just once I could watch her on the receiving end for a change. We've got all sorts here. I can't lie, most of these folks are Madison's friends, but they've taken me into their group too, which I'm sure Madison just hates. But yeah, like everyone's pretty cool, except for Frank. Well, like, I don't know who you've met and who you haven't. There's Stephanie, Catherine, Rachel, Amy. These are all people that Madison knows through school. Patrick's our cousin, which is pretty much the only reason he's here. And Frank, who's got no reason to be here. Oh, and there's Derek too, who knows my sister somehow. He's your friend, right? I love to hear that. Like, he seems like a good guy to have in your life. And if he thinks the same about you, then you must be worth getting to know better. <laughs> Don't you worry your pretty little head about that. I know where it is. Hey again, stranger. How's it going? I work at Chubby's, that sports bar with all the greasy food and the, you know, topless waitresses. Oh, guess again! I'll give you a clue. I'm not washing dishes, and also my boobs are out. And we have a winner! So what do you think about that? You're fucking right! Just like all those rap songs say. Get that, get that paper! Rapping music? It really speaks to me. Round, taking each other's tops off. Hey again, stranger. How's it going? Thank you. I like love to dance. Well, I guess. I just like making people happy. And usually pills do that. And fucking. Oh, and fucking while on pills. Pills are just really, really great. Steady? Oh, I don't know. I'm doing like all the general stuff right now just to like get them out of the way. To be honest, I don't really know what I want to do after that. But this is a party, so I'm not going to think about the magnitude of decision I'll eventually have to make and in turn forever alter my life's path. Let's get fucked up! Oh, Matt and I have known each other since grade school. I totally wouldn't have gotten through math class if she didn't, like, let me cheat off of her all the time. Come to think of it, I probably wouldn't have gotten through history, science, or English either. Can you believe that? She's, like, super smart. If I could have copied off her in grade school, I would have been, like, a straight-A student. 
You mean like a doctor or a nurse? Hmm, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Aren't doctors, like, really smart? People always call me an airhead, which is so weird to me. Because every human being consumes roughly 550 liters of oxygen every day. Which is exactly why huffing stuff is so fun! But airheads can't be doctors. I don't think. I guess I'll think about it, but I'm leaning towards… no. I get what you're saying, and I guess you're right that I do know a lot of stuff about the human body and pills and not overdosing and whatever. But I don't think a medical profession is right for me. Come on, let's just kick back and not think about the ever-shrinking amount of time I have to commit to a life path. Woo! What do you guys think of the upcoming elections? Oh, nobody's gonna answer? Yeah, that's probably for the best. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? I gathered it all up into this cabinet so it's nice and easy to keep watch of it. I'm just waiting for somebody to try something. Dude, she's so hot. I'd give my left nut for a night with her. Holy shit! I tell you what we gotta do. We gotta conduct ourselves a sting operation. Here's the plan. I'll give you a head start, and then I'll come and find you in one minute. See if you can get whoever it is to confess about having some alcohol on them when I walk by, and then I'll take it from there. If not, I'll just go back on patrol. We're better safe than sorry. We can't risk any alcohol in the hands of these wackos. Who knows what they'll do? Genius? Wait, isn't that what you asked me? Oh, well, never mind. Some of the art around here is real unique. I guess that should be expected when you're in an artist's house. Oh, there's nothing I won't do to see a solid pair of tits. I once ran head first into a car. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? How's it going? Seriously? What's my sign? That's the best you could come up with? I was having an okay time until fucking Frank stole my thermos. He said it looked like something I could hide booze in it and that he was confiscating it. Oh, that would be amazing. I would be very appreciative. <laughs> 